Hi guys, thank you so much for an amazing response to the previous videos where I have been discussing some of the great opportunities that will be available to you in the months of February and March. But this video is particularly focused upon female hiring that is also known as diversity hiring in India. As you all know that uh, International Women's Day is coming on 8th of March this year and this is the time when most of the companies roll out their diversity hiring programs uh, be it from very top-notch companies like Microsoft, Amazon or it may be uh, some other companies. So many of the companies and a lot of opportunities are available in and around March and February for all the women in tech. So in this video, I'll be discussing some of the great opportunities that you might come across in the coming months and uh, so that this is the video particularly, particularly focusing so that we can prepare for those opportunities beforehand. We'll be discussing about those companies, those uh, what will be the probable CTC, what are the rounds of the process and how you should go about approaching and uh, preparing for these companies. We'll be discussing the tips and tricks on how you can ace their challenges and uh, how you can make the most out of uh, these diversity hiring programs. So let's move on to the first company that we're talking about today. The first company that we're talking about today is Adobe. Adobe, as you know, it's an American multinational software company. It has its products like Adobe Photoshop, Adobe PDF Reader, Adobe RoboMaker, Premiere Pro, etc. And you all might have used any of these uh, Adobe products in your day-to-day -day life. When we talk about this event, particularly focused upon female hiring, it's known as Adobe Code Diva. So basically the batches that would be eligible this year if Adobe rolls out this program are batches of 2021 and batches of 2022. So when we talk about eligibility, the candidate should be a female studying in final or pre-final year in an Indian university. When we talk about some of the rounds that uh, are listed for Adobe for Diva, so round one means, uh, round one there will be a programming test of two hours like there will be three questions of medium to hard difficulty level and these will be conducted on their own platform like uh, last year they chose the platform known as firstknockery.com so you can go through that platform as well and see the type of question that they're providing in that uh, events right so after first round 100 students will be shortlisted uh, through this test after that there will be one more round of programming questions only and it will again be three questions medium to hard difficulty level and combining the scores of round one and round two, the top 50 candidates will be chosen finally. And these are the top 50 lucky ones who will be giving, getting a chance to visit the Technology for Women conference that is being organized by Adobe. After that uh, conference, these top 50 students will be uh, given a chance to interview at Adobe. So these interviews can lead you to successful summer internships or full-time roles at Adobe at a very good high package compensation package. So next when we talk about the most important part that is the roles at Adobe. So when we talk about the roles at Adobe, there are uh, particularly there are some uh, names that are different that Adobe follows. For example, for internships, they have two categories. One is product intern and one is research intern. So basically when you talk about product intern, it's basically a software developer kind of intern and research intern is somebody who is more focused into research. Maybe students from uh, masters are there in this program of research intern. And for uh, full-time roles, they have a profile named as member of technical staff one or they have some uh, other profiles like uh, computer scientist or scientist. So when you talk about CTC and stipend that Adobe offers, it's very high and it's one of the most, like I would say in Indian market, it's one of the best CTC that one can get. So then in an internship, you'll be getting around 1 lakh per month as internship stipend and the CTC that currently Adobe provides to students for MTS1, it's around 43 lakhs per annum. When you talk about some of the tips and tricks that I have gathered from some of the previous participants, so uh, the first and most important thing is you should practice questions from lead code weekly contest or the actual questions were a bit of similar to those that were being asked in the lead code weekly contest in the previous two months maybe in the month of january and february so try focusing on these lead code weekly contests next you should have a strong hold over your data structures and algorithms tentatively this test was conducted in march and it's around women's day maybe on 8th of march maybe a week before or a week ahead and it was conducted last year on firstknockery.com. I'll provide the relevant link in the description so that you can go through it once. So let's move on to the next company. The next company that we'll be talking about today, it's ServiceNow. So ServiceNow is an American software based company in California and it's like, it's basically a cloud computing platform. In India, it has its technology center located at Bangalore. People are like, most of you are, might not be aware of this company, but believe me, after hearing the compensation package, uh, you'll 
consider service now as one of your dream companies right so when we talk about their event their event is also similar to adobe and it's named as codeva so basically the batches that would be eligible for this a uh, program or this diversity hiring drive are batches of 2021 and 2022 and the branches that they have mentioned are particularly CSIT and other related branches the eligibility you can see like the exact eligibility is third and fourth year btech be engineering students first year mtech students phd uh, computer science data science machine learning majors so all of you are eligible to apply for this service now code diva program Next, when you talk about some of the rounds that Service Now conducts, like takes for this uh, event, so as it is already mentioned in a very good way, so first of all there will be hacker and coding test. So this is a type of coding test. Again, it is based upon data sets and algorithms. You will be getting three questions of three difficulty levels. Like one question will be easy, one medium, and one hard difficulty level. So after this test, top eighty students will be shortlisted, and it will not only be based upon this hacker rank test but along with that your project ppt that you will be submitting right after the top 80 shortlist they have got then they'll be signing you some certain mentors and you will be trained on service now platforms on how can be your projects and uh, what can be the how can you get most out of this opportunity then they'll release certain problem statements you will be given a time of approximately 2 days to build some particular project and you'll submit that project then there will be a complete review of that project and you will be getting the final offers directly right the winning teams and the teams with the most brilliant idea will also win an internship at service now in the summer coming summer next let us talk about the rules and a compensation package of service now but before that let's discuss about the prizes that is going to offer it's also giving a lot of prizes like apple ipod mini fossil smartwatch amazon echo plus along with that the most important thing that we are looking forward to is summer internship opportunity that service now at a very good stipend So when we talk about uh, roles at service now it has basically two profiles that it hires for freshers associate software engineer and associate quality engineer the ctc or the cost to company that adobe uh, that uh, service now gives is for associate software engineer profile the ctc is around 25 lpa and for associate quality engineer the ctc is around 18 lpa when you talk about some of the tips and tricks like how you can ace this service now code diva challenge if you are female student studying in your uh, pre final or final years so first of all there will be hacker rank test questions involving some basic coding and some uh, standard algorithms like scoring full marks is an easy way and you should try on focusing so that you can get some uh, like full marks because there is a lot of competition only the top 80 people they are going to select right the presentation should be focused upon the tools and technology that service now uh tentatively if we talk about when the event is conducted it's also conducted in and around march maybe last year it was conducted in the last week of march maybe the dates can be uh, a bit ahead or a bit before so this was all about service now code diva let's move on to the next company that is also hiring for diversity so next company that we'll talk about is bny melon bny melon stands for bank of new york melon it's commonly known as bny melon it's an american investment banking services with headquarters in the new york city It is one of the great companies. Like when we talk about uh, the work culture and work-life balance in India, like if we talk about it, it has its uh, technology centers located at Pune as well as in Chennai. So this challenge is known as BNY Melon Code Divas Diversity Challenge. Last year it was tented, like last year it was conducted in the month of February. And when we talk about the eligibility criteria. Uh, so first important thing is a candidate should be a female candidate and he can be a part of a bachelor of engineering bachelor of technology mtech mca msc and uh, masters of Com- mathematics and computing the cgpa cut off is 6 and above and the eligible batches would be batch of 2022 and batch of 2021 for full time as well as 2022 for internships so the rounds basically that uh, bny melon focuses on are all the rounds related to programming and data sets algorithms Uh, the first round that it conducts has four programming question and it's conducted on a platform known as hacker earth uh, the questions are like what i have heard through sources is a bit tough a kind of tough like you say uh, level is moderate to hard not easy questions are basically ranging from dynamic programming to digit dp etc and the cut off as you can see like depending upon the difficulty level the cut off was around 55% and all uh, the participants uh, getting 55% marks last year they were qualified for the next round maybe this cut off can change uh, depending upon the number of candidates they are looking forward to hire next when we talk about roles at bnby melon so uh, 
basically it hires for software engineer role full time as well as intern and the cost to company that bny melon has to offer is around 11 to 21 lpa ctc it's a very great package along with a very good uh, work culture and a work life balance company and the internship it offers a stipend of around 60000 per month that was all about bny melon we'll talk about the tips and tricks of this challenge how you can ace this challenge uh, if you're a female student so the first and the most important thing for is uh, in bny melon challenges clearing the round 1 it's the major hurdle i would say strong programming skills to qualify round 1 if your round 1 is clear then interviews are compar- comparatively easier as compared to the coding test so if you talk about practicing for this co- uh, for this co- uh, contest will uh, you can uh, practice questions from competitive programming contests like lunch time cook off etc it's like a similar kind of event right So let's move on to the next company. The next company that we're talking about is Microsoft. Microsoft Corporation, as you all know, it's an American multinational technology company with its headquarters in Redmond, Washington. In India, if we talk about it, it has its uh, development centers located at Bangalore, Hyderabad, as well as in Noida. Like it is considered to be um, one of the most innovative companies of the world. Uh, but let's see what this program is all about. So it's not a hiring drive basically, but it's uh, a conference that Microsoft is conducting, and maybe you have certain career opportunities after attending this conference. So the eligibility criteria that they have specified for this event is female graduating in 2021. right so it's a very great opportunity for if you're graduating in 2021 you should definitely attend this work, uh, this conference and you might have uh, opportunities of career at microsoft so it's a virtual conference for early in career women to engage with microsoft leaders the date that the, uh, this uh, conference will be conducted is 29 january from 2 pm to 5 pm and the registrations close at 24 january uh, 6 pm So the participants may be reached out for careers at Microsoft after this conference. But when we talk about roles at Microsoft, these are software development engineer full time as well as interns. And the cost to company or the CTC that Microsoft offers for this uh, for uh, SD profile is forty three LPA for full time as well as for internship it's around eighty thousand per month. Right. So it's one of the dream opportunity. Like if you are the lucky one, if you are reached out by Microsoft. Uh, through this conference then it would be a great opportunity for you so definitely try for it go ahead and just register for this conference and uh, let's see what happens next next when we talk about the event that is known as uh, ZS Women Asathon ZS Women Asathon is basically an event conducted by ZS Associates ZS Associates is a consulting and a professional services firm focusing upon consulting software and technology and it's dealing in healthcare So this is the program that is basically for this program you require minimum six months of experience and the batch of 2020 and 2019 would be eligible. The roles that ZS is offering through this uh, event are business technology analyst, decision analytics associate, and software. So uh, only women candidates are allowed. When we talk about the process, there will be resume shortlisting. After that, a case study will be given to you on AmCat platform, and you need to submit it in two days. after that like based upon your resume as well as your case study shortlisted women candidates will be given a chance to interview at zs for uh, the above roles right when you talk about some of the tips for this particular program so make a crisp presentation covering values and principles of zs associates and for more chances of selection right let's move on to the next company and that is the most awaited company so it's amazon so amazon has its program known as amazon wow and it's Uh, open to female from batches 2022 and 2023 if it if amazon rolls this program this year so we'll talk about some of the eligibility criteria as basically the app- like applicant should be enrolled in a four year btech or a be or a two year mtech me program or a five year dual degree next for btech he should be in his fourth semester or in his sixth semester and the branches that are eligible for this Amazon Wow program are CSC IT electrical and electronics with a CGP of 6.5 and above. Next when we talk about some of the rounds that Amazon uh, conducts for uh, hiring people hiring uh, female candidates through Amazon Wow the, uh, the rounds are basically resume shortlisting like uh, this year if we talk about mostly everybody was shortlisted for this and got the test link right so when we talk about the online test it's basically conducted on amcat and uh, it had 28 mcqs based upon computer fundamentals like operating systems computer network and dbms and these were critically some of the high order thinking skill questions i would say next when we talk about uh, some of the coding question it has two medium level uh, coding questions 
Uh, after that, there'll be two technical. If you clear online tests, you will be aligned with some technical panel, and there will be two rounds of technical interviews. Might be the rounds can be uh, three based upon your uh, candidature as well as the company's demand. Next, you will have one managerial round. It will basically be a tech as well as an HR round combined. Next, when we talk about uh, the roles at Amazon, uh, it has software developer and engineer role full time as well as software developer engineer internship. And the cost to company that Amazon offers is close to 30 LPA prox, and the SD internship it offers a stipend of 45,000 per month. So this is very hyped program, and you should uh, definitely prepare for this comp uh, this uh, event a lot because there will be a lot of competition. We'll talk about all the women diversity hiring programs. So tips and tricks for this program particularly are like you should attempt the online test carefully as you'll be facing a lot of competition, and seats are limited. For interviews, when you talk about, there are standard questions, algorithms, CS fundamentals, like these are the things that interviews generally ask and the process can take over two months. Maybe some of the people have, uh, some of the candidates uh, even have three months of the process. So stay calm, be positive and uh, look towards working at Amazon. And if you like the content and you're looking forward to more such opportunities for you in tech, for SG roles, for uh, any other preparation strategies, you can like, share and subscribe this channel and um, share it with your friends so that uh, we can get ahead with much more great content and all of you are uh, covered. Thank you so much once again. Good luck. All the best. Bye-bye.